Police that he can't get to. Keep me from the So here we go, our first game at third base. We're gonna get a bat first. Our batting stats of mid 500s in April, mid 500s in May. It looks like we've been batting a little bit better in May. We're playing Barry Bonds' team, the Mississippi Braves. You only get that reference if you watch the series, but here we got runner on second base, top of the first. Early opportunity to get an RBI, bounce it off the pitcher's leg. That could get, send him home, raise him home. Oh, that would have been a very aggressive base starting move if that guy would have tried to go home on, but it would have been good. But here we go. Like this guy's batting 185 on the year. He expects to get out and we're playing third base. First and second, two down. Our first opportunity. We got to make it. We got to make it worth it. Here we go. I feel like we've been playing here for a while. Here we go. Diving play. Nice diving play. Throw it to first. Oh, he caught it. He caught that. We'll take it. Coming up with a diving play with his first time permanently playing third base. He's been playing it for a while. The coach stuck him there. P Pete Rose is a team player and he's very much willing to go ahead and play second base. And there we go. Double down the line, it looks like. We might go three. Now we better stay two. We better stay two. We're not that fast. We're only in the fourth inning, too. We already got three at bats in the fourth inning. We are running all over these guys in this series. The record is not fantastic, and that is not a home run. That is a fly out, it looks like. Maybe it is a home run. Can we go? Can we go? It is a home run. I lied. I lied to you guys. Pete Rose only hits home runs. 56 training points of that double points. You got to love it. Pete Rose just smashed that ball over the center field wall. That one just, that wasn't even close. How far did it go? I didn't even look. That was the problem. Six to two nonetheless because of that home run. You got to run on first base. We're batting again in the sixth. This is our fourth at bat of the game. Straight off an off day, I should mention, by the way. Those off days must be big. Oh, nice catch by the left fielder. Looks like we might have a chance at a double play ball here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Runner on first base. We'll see where this bad boy goes. It looks like we got, oh, we better not. We better throw it to first. Can we get it there? We can. That's always nerve wracking going in there and running up on that bunt like that. We weren't prepared for the bunt. Should have been thinking it. Got ourselves another player of the game, it looks like. You gotta like getting those. Four for five night. A home run, two RBIs, and two runs. A roster move was made. Please return to the clubhouse. Is this what I think it is? Don't tease me, I will be the show. I'm telling you, don't tease me like this. Uh, here we go. Here we go. They always tease you with this part right here with the XP part. I was thinking I'm going to go straight back to the dugout, clubhouse, whatever you call that thing, and it never happens. Here we go. Nothing happened. What is this? They made me go all the way back to the dugout because a roster move was made, and it wasn't even me. That was a buzz kill and a half. Needless to say, though, we're going for the sweep of the Mississippi Braves, if I'm not mistaken. Got that average back at the 559. Nearly hit that 70 RBI plateau before we hit noon. Runner on second base. Got another chance to drive one in right here, right now. Top of the first. Come on, Pete. There we go. Hit the gap, please. Yes, that's a gap shot. That should be an RBI double, and it's going to be. Get that speed up. We'll start railing in them triples. Here we are batting in the second inning again. We're, like I said, we're just, <laughs> we're running all over these guys, the Braves. I'm, I bat three times in the first four innings. They just don't have an answer for our offense. It's potent. Gotta love that too. See, I love seeing how many runs our team score and knowing it's the Reds' future. Hopefully, you know, it is the Reds' future that does like this in real life. That was a sinker and a half, it looked like. It was a two-seam fastball. Here we are, though, batting in the fourth inning again for the third time today. That's a deep fly. Is that gone? No, I don't know about that one. That's pretty deep, but I don't know if it's going to be over the fence. It's going to be gone. I'm not a very... Don't listen to me. Do not listen to me when it comes to home run balls because clearly I don't know what I'm talking about. It looked like it hung long enough where it wasn't a home run ball, but it was, and we needed that home run ball pretty big because it's a 6-3 to three game. They came back and scored some more runs on us. We could use more insurance. There you go. Gap shot. Little curve and little tail on that baseball. They're telling us to go three. I ain't going three on that one. We can't make that. We're going to try it, though. Here we go. Here we go. Send in three. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Get down. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Plow him over. Oh, I didn't want to go home. That was an accident. Oh, well. We got a home run, we got a triple, and we got a double. We need a base knock right here for the cycle in the eighth inning. This is our only chance. Let's make it happen. Up the middle. Yes. Right and perfect. Got the cycle and everything. Perfect. We'll take it. Pete Rose, is that his first cycle or is that his second cycle on the team? I'm not for sure on that one, but he's got it nonetheless. Five for five, a home run. One of everything, except a walk and a strikeout. 
We're gonna return to the clubhouse for this one too. It ought to be some big news coming in off of that cycle. Let's see what they're gonna say. The evaluation of minor league prospects is not only the business of team scouts. Sports agents do their homework as well. Pete, this is Asher Alexander of JLS Sports. We are believers in your potential, and I think we could do a lot to help you achieve your goals. It looks like we've got a chance at an agent, our first call from an agent. So we just ask him, like, what? It seems kind of impolite, but I don't know about the rest of these options. From the ranks of hundreds of minor league prospects, the next generation of MLB superstars will eventually emerge. Most importantly, we have a relationship with the front office of the Reds and with that of every other team too. When you have a demand or a contract to negotiate, we will see to it that you get what you want. Makes sense, makes sense. Determining which prospects will be those superstars is big business. Your high school coach has been advising you, right? We actually spoke briefly just after you were drafted. Would it be okay if we went ahead and gave him a call tomorrow? Yeah, that's perfectly fine. I suppose that'd be okay. And getting in on the ground floor is smart business. No pressure, Pete. Tell you what, I'll give him my pitch and the two of you can talk it over. If you decide you're ready, we'll be thrilled to take you on. Oh, we got our advisor calling us in. Pete, I spoke with Alexander of JLS Sports. He made a good pitch. And the fact is, I do think the time is coming when you need more from a representative than I can offer. You gotta trust your advisor's judgment, man. I'm all for it. However impressive an agent's qualifications may be, the trading in of a longtime trusted mentor for a corporate wheeler dealer can feel like a scary step. You know I wouldn't mess around with your future, Pete. I vetted this guy and his company, and I think they're a great fit for you if you feel like you're ready. Time seems right. Let's pull the trigger. But a fledgling must leave the nest, for a big world awaits. I'll tell him you're in. It's been such a pleasure helping bring you along to this point, Pete. I just can't wait to see all you're going to be doing for this game in the future. All right, so we got to be feeling good. We're playing the Jackson Jumbo Shrimp. We just got told that we are about to get ourselves our first agent. The confidence level for Pete Rose right now, knowing that then big league teams and big league scouts are looking at us, the agents, has to be a confidence booster right off the bat, right? And we're gonna throw that one in the gap. Can we get three out of this one? It's rolling in the corner there. Pete Rose is gonna, we better stay at two. They, you know what? We better, <laughs> we better get a little bit more speed for that. Guess that's what happens. You abide by the rules. You play some third base like they asked. They move you. The agents are like, this is a good guy. We'll take what we can get. Is that going to stay fair? No. All right, here we go. The 0-1 count in the third inning. Deep fly. Flip that bat. See you later, baby. Long gone. Barely gone. <laughs> it fell into the bullpen, it looked like, back there. Barely even cleared the fence. He was showboating like it was 30 miles over the fence. But we'll take it. We'll take it. Heat's 19th home run, a 433-foot bomb. I guess it did get some distance on her. Tony, that confidence is something else right now. We're losing 4-2, though. That bomb made it 4-2, but we need some help. We're going to need a lot more out of you than that, Pete. There we go. Base knock. Got that single, got the double, got a homer. We're a triple short of the cycle again. Can we get back-to-back -back cycles? We got, ooh, bottom of the eighth. We need more than a, we need way more than a triple here. We need to get on base, though. We're down a run in the eighth, bottom of the eighth inning. There she goes. That'll tie the game. That'll tie the game. Four to four. Big clutch home run by Pete Rose to tie this baseball game. Much needed. The dugout like that. 445 feet worth of man right there. Gone. That's going to end the game. And it looks like we ended up with a walk-off winner the way it looks. Pete Rose tied it up. And the Wahoos went ahead and took care of business. Definitely deserved that player of the game card. Four for four. Two home runs and two RBIs. We're going to end on that two home run performance though. As for this video, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.